Welcome back. Part two of this moving vlog. The last time we checked in, I let you know that I'm moving. Right now, we are on T minus a day and a half until the movers get here and we solidify everything. <laughs> My jacket's on inside out. Thought I'd give you an update. I have currently been packing up all my stuff. I'm just gonna live out tomorrow without anything really so that I can just pack up most of my stuff right now and just be ahead of the game on top of it instead of scrambling the last night to like get everything into boxes. I think a friend or two might come help me tonight help wrap all my glassware because that is always my least favorite part. And other than that, I'll keep you updated on anything that's important and we'll be moving in two days. so close pretty much everything's done and now I'm just waking up to like this <laughs> so much to do still oh uh, it's just a lot of stuff Um, so I got by Chloe and I'm so excited to eat it and I'm gonna watch The Bachelor at and I'm gonna take a small break cuz I'm tired <laughs> Never been more tired, maybe ever. Um, this has been the longest day. I just took my final bath, which I made a point to do because I truly don't think there's much more than I love than that bathtub and I'm gonna miss it so, so much. I had to make sure that I took one last bath and slowed down for a sec and now I'm a little bit sad. Transitions baby. Yeah, a little hard, but I'm gonna probably fall asleep right this second. I can't even be anxious for tomorrow yet because I'm just so tired that my body does not have it in me. I'm falling asleep now and I'll see you in the morning, bright and early. Good morning, everyone. Um, been up for a few hours. It's 8, 8.50. My room is pretty much empty. I'll show you the house. I always think I'm like, ah, oh, I, I got rid of a lot of stuff. Like, I don't have that much left, but somehow, 
somehow all of this belongs to me. So, a little stressed, but it's all gonna work out, okay? Movers get here in an hour. Sabrina gets here in a few minutes to help me move just some of my plants and my fragile stuff. Definitely explains why I could not sleep last night. I kept feeling like I could hear things. And if that does not sound like a creepy person breathing over you, I don't know what does. It's day three in the new place. I did not really vlog yesterday because I kid you not, I've never been more exhausted in my entire life. The first night I moved in, my foot like seized up and I wasn't able to walk on my foot anymore from carrying so much stuff up and down four flights of stairs. My body is just hurting. Um, I just left until like 10 because I was so tired. Last night I just kept waking up and I was having really like panicky dreams that were really chaotic and just like disorganized, which makes sense because my whole life feels very disorganized right now. So that's where I'm at. It's day three. I'm in my comfies organic basics. These are these are actually getting me through because they're so comfy. And I'll talk to you about them in just a sec because they're the sponsor of today's video. Okay, quickly popping in to take a little coffee break, talk about organic basics really quick. I'm so happy to be working with them again. They stocked me up with some winter basics. Winter basics are beyond. Um, so Organic Basics was started in Denmark by three friends looking to create a more ethical, sustainable line of organic basics. What more can you ask for? The lines range from undies, socks, bras, activewear, amazing basics like the Scott's organic cotton t-shirt I'm wearing. You saw me wearing this set throughout the video, which I am obsessed with, but I have such a strong love for their use of fabrics. You can tell that it's so thoughtful around what fabrics they choose to use. They have a huge emphasis on using recycled materials, which I think is awesome. They just came out with their re-tights, which are partially recycled nylon, which I think is awesome. Their cashmere collection is recycled cashmere, which saves textiles from going into landfill or into waste. So they have a bunch of different lines kind of focusing all on different fabrics. Their Gots Organic Cotton, always amazing. And then don't even get me started on their tensile line. I'm truly obsessed with their tensile line. I went in on the tensile because it's so so, so soft. I got this really nice little lounge dress, which is so, so soft. Basic turtleneck, which you already saw me wearing. Their undies, bralettes. Tencel's a great fiber. It's made from bamboo. It uses a lot, a lot less water than traditional cotton. And to me, it's just even softer and more amazing of a fabric anyways. So yeah, they have a bunch of different, very beautiful categories of fabrics that they use. I just am really obsessed with them. They're a really beautiful company. They are just awesome. I'm gonna check Organic Basics out. You can use my code that's in the description box to get 10% off your next order, one per customer and worldwide. Catch me wearing them through the rest of this video and yeah.
This is broken, um, unfortunately, so I cannot hang up any of my clothes yet. So I just emailed my management company to point out some things that are a little bit less than desirable that I did not notice beforehand. The trickiest thing is that when you go to see an apartment, you don't know if you're gonna take it yet. So obviously when I saw this one, I was like, yeah, very interested. But I didn't like, I'm like, you're with a broker, you're kind of just looking things over briefly. It's not like I like go through and notice every little thing that needs to be. When you're signing a lease, it's like you sign that you accept the apartment as is, which is like this weird wording. I've never had an issue with the landlord being like, well, you took it as is, like we're not gonna fix it. But at the same time, it's better to notice these things beforehand so then you're not having to like say after the fact, like, oh, by the way, this, 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 this <laughs> doesn't work. I also should have asked them specifically to repaint at least like where they've done like obviously some filling is a completely different color and it goes all the way down and around just like aesthetically, it doesn't look amazing. And like this is all cracked off up there. This scares me because there's like a hole up there that definitely leads to like some type of attic, I would assume, but it's like taped on, which <laughs> I definitely did not really notice that before because I wasn't looking like so extremely close. Um, so I just pointed out a few things like this front burner doesn't work. There's just a few things that I'm like, would like to have fixed sooner than later. So I just reached out to them to see what they'll say. There's also a dead roach on the floor the day I moved in on its back, which was, <laughs> I mean, it's New York. It's not like unexpected though. I have not had that issue before. So that's a little bit scary that I'm like, well, if there's already a dead roach and no one's been living here, like a little bit like scary. So there's some cracks around the house that I'm like, this is where bugs could definitely enter so i'm hoping that they'll fill those for me you know it's one of those apartments that i'm like it's charming you get some of the nice charm the charm of it at the same time there's uh some things to fix right now i'm gonna go see jack um and i'll vlog a little bit and just put that in this vlog for fun where i'm gonna meet him at a park and just take a little bit of a break and leave the apartment for a bit and then Rose is gonna come over later and we'll have dinner and she's gonna help me because she's very good at organizing and just being on top of things. Hey, Jenny's vlog.
Good morning, everyone. Day five, perhaps. Um, still pretty messy in here. <laughs> this is gonna take a while, but I'm gonna go get in my friend's car to go to Ikea in just a sec because I need to pick up some very quick basics. Obviously, I tried to avoid, um, you know, unnecessary things and also Ikea in general, but when it comes down to moving, like sometimes you just, you need some items that are not so, 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 so expensive, you know? I'm not doing all my home shopping at West Elm. I'm not there yet, but anyhow, going to Ikea, just gonna grab a few things. I need curtains so desperately because my bathroom window is literally on a pedestal. <laughs> like when I am peeing at night, the bathroom window is just like, it's just me on a pedestal peeing for all of my neighbors to see, which I'm not super uncomfortable with, but it's still just like kind of annoying. So I really need to grab some curtains um, and just like some other little miscellaneous things. But when I come back, I will, I'll do a haul for you. I think the handyman is coming to repair my closet, hopefully today, so then I can finally hang out my clothes. And otherwise, we are, we're getting there. <laughs> I'm unwell, but I'm good. My body, I'm just stressed. I have have not maybe ever been this stressed consistently for days. I need to make some progress on this space. I'll show you the few things I picked up at Ikea. Um, I got a few of these planters which are gonna go over my shower because there's a perfect little slot that plants could hang down, which I'm excited for, we'll show you. Um, light bulbs, I got two of these lamps because they just come in handy, like the globe lamps. I have another one that's like an expensive version of this uh, next to my bed that has a dimmer, um, but it, it was expensive. And just like things like power strips that always come in handy. I got this for my um, stuffed animals so they don't sit everywhere. And most importantly, I just got curtains because I need to put curtains up and I got these other curtains that are more of like a shade for my bathroom. And then it's like they always get you on the plant section, but they have this fiddle. I think it's a fiddle. Um, it looks healthy. Sometimes Ikea plants just really surprise you. And this was the last like little basket bag. And I said, you know what? Oh, let's just get a plant. Why not? So that was my haul. Not super eventful, but I got some really good little basic stuff that I needed. Maintenance guy did come and kind of fix my closet. I'm a little bit confused because he just kind of drilled it in further, but I guess it worked. It still seems a little wobbly, but we're gonna give it a try. Lastly, I got some cleaning supplies from Grove, which is a cool like natural cleaning supplies place and like homeware stuff. And I really like them. Okay, so I hope this vlog was good for you guys. It was good for me. I'm feeling really stressed and I'm feeling as if the rest of this is gonna go into part three, which is gonna be more of the organizing and decorating because that's just gonna take me a sec to get to that point. And the rest is just me kind of unboxing and cleaning stuff. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yes, I have only purposefully showed you bits and pieces of my apartment so far because you're gonna see it in its glory in part three. <laughs> Don't hate me. Don't hate me. It'll be worth the wait. Um, that being said, check out Organic Basics. If you're into it, you can get 10% off with my code where I live, OBX, no minimum requirement, and it's worldwide. So definitely check that out. I think they're great. And thanks for being here. And I'll see you in the next one.